weathering. Weathering is an exogenetic force responsible for changing the face of the earth. Weathering and erosion, which together are known as denudation, are the forces involved in the process of earth gradation. Gradation or the process of leveling of the earth takes place through degradation and aggradation. Degradation is the lowering of the earth's surface through weathering and removal of the weathered material. Aggradation, on the other hand, is the process by which the level of the land surface is raised through the deposition of the eroded material. Weathering can be defined as the disintegration and decomposition of the rocks. It is caused by the various natural agents like heat, water, plants and even human beings. Fact Earthworms William Morns Donis was an American geographer who first proposed a model to explain the erosion of landforms in 1900. Types of weathering Weathering is of three types. Mechanical weathering, chemical weathering, biological weathering. The weathering, physical, chemical or biological, takes place in a variety of ways. Mechanical weathering Mechanical weathering involves the disintegration or breaking up of the rocks. There is a change in the physical property of the rocks, but no chemical changes take place. Processes of mechanical weathering Due to temperature changes The rocks are composed of minerals which have different rates of heating and cooling. During day, the temperatures are high and expansion of rocks takes place. During the night, the temperatures fall and contraction of the rocks takes place. As the rate of expansion and contraction of the minerals of which a rock is composed is different at various temperatures, the rocks break up into blocks or as grains depending on the rock structure. The rocks may also disintegrate through the peeling off of the outer layer of the rocks. Due to the combined effect of the temperature and wind, the outer layer loosened by contraction and expansion of the rock is removed. As there is a great difference between the night and day temperatures in the desert areas, such type of weathering due to temperature changes is common in the hot deserts. Due to frost action, sometimes water gets collected in the cracks in the rocks. When the temperature is low, this water freezes and expands and cracks the rocks, but when the temperature is high, the volume of water is reduced due to melting of ice. Freezing water has increased volume that exerts pressure on the rock and widens the cracks. This pressure is released when the ice melts. Continuous action causes the disintegration of the rocks. Such feathering is common in the cool and temperate climate regions. Chemical weathering Chemical weathering results in the decay and decomposition of the rocks which involves a change in both the physical as well as chemical properties of the rock. Process of chemical weathering. It is mainly carried out by chemical reaction of minerals of the rock, mainly with water in the atmosphere. This water is combined with the various gases present in the atmosphere. Oxidation is the process of reaction of the atmospheric oxygen with minerals of the rock, especially the rock containing iron. It takes place when the atmospheric oxygen dissolved in rainwater reacts with rocks to form oxides. The rusting of the rocks result in their weakening and breaking up. This is an example of oxidation. Carbonation occurs when atmospheric carbon dioxide dissolved in rainwater reacts with the rocks. This phenomena can be easily seen in the limestone region when the carbon dioxide reacts with calcium to form calcium carbonate and calcium bicarbonate. 
hydration takes place when the water is absorbed by the rock. The rocks absorb water and increase in volume. This drains the mineral content of the rock which disintegrate ultimately. Biological weathering Biological weathering is the result of the action of plants, animals and human beings as well. It causes both the disintegration and decomposition of the rocks. Process of Biological Weathering Biological weathering is caused due to the action of plants, animals and human beings. By plants The roots of the plants and trees penetrate deep below the earth's surface. They sometimes reach the cracks in the rocks and widen the cracks leading to physical disintegration of the rocks. By animals Burrowing animals dig holes or burrows and tunnels below the earth's surface and this results in the gradual disintegration of the rocks. By human beings Mining activities for extraction of minerals, blasting of hills for making roads and tunnels and other activities result in physical disintegration of rocks and increase the rate of weathering of rocks. Effects of weathering The following are the effects of the weathering. Creation of rock waste due to breaking of the rocks. Lowering and raising of the land surface as a result of weathering, erosion and deposition. Modification in the shape of the landforms. Soil and its formation. Weathering results in the changing of the earth's surface. The most important effect of weathering is soil formation. Soil is the powdered form of rock which is useful for the growth of plants and thus the survival of human life. Large rock masses are disintegrated into rock fragments which are further weathered to form subsoil and finally soil that is made up of weathered rock material and decomposed organic matter called humus. Soil Profile The vertical section of the soil showing its different layers is known as soil profile. There are different horizons of soil such as topsoil, subsoil, parent rock and bedrock. A Horizon Topsoil the uppermost layer of the earth is known as A horizon or topsoil. The major content of this section is humus. This makes it generally blackish brown in color. The topsoil is soft and porous. It has a good water retaining capacity. It is a habitat of many tiny organisms. B horizon subsoil being the second layer from the top, it is relatively harder and compact. It is generally light red or gray in color. It largely contains stone and sand particles that makes it unfit for the plants. The organic matter is less that makes it less fertile. Sea Horizon Parent Rock This is the region below the subsoil. It is the lowermost layer of the soil. There is no organic matter in this layer. It contains parent material through which the soil is formed by the weathering process. This region is hard and cannot be easily dug. This layer stores water over it and makes the water table. This layer is also called substratum. Soil that is formed from it is called Residual soil. This layer of the soil is infertile. R horizon. Below the sea horizon is a layer of hard rock called bedrock or R horizon. Water cannot penetrate through the bedrock. Soil erosion. The top soil can be carried away easily by wind or washed away by flowing water. This process of carrying away of topsoil by natural forces like water and wind is called 
soil erosion causes of soil erosion the various causes of soil erosion are given below overgrazing by animals large scale cutting of trees deforestation improper farming practices heavy rains or floods forest fire methods of soil conservation protection of soil from getting destroyed so that it can be used in the future is known as soil conservation some of the measures to prevent the soil from erosion and fertility exhaustion are given alongside growing more trees on a large scale afforestation